Hey, you know this guy? Yeah, I do too. He's actually one of my best friends ever now. In this video, I'm going to be explaining the story on how I met Golfe and how we became such close friends. Be sure to subscribe and like the video if you enjoy. So, not a lot of you guys actually know this, but I actually own the account named Pap. Pretty cool, right? Anyways, this account Pap was the only account I would use on SMPs because it had a Minecon cape. And you know damn well your boy ain't playing capeless on the SMPs. So I was playing an SMP with some old friends. 1.15.2 was the latest version at the time. You might be asking, why not play on my Eddie account? I mean, it literally has my first name. Like I previously said, it was capeless. And in the newer versions of Minecraft come out, Optifine doesn't quite keep up as fast. So I'd cope with a Minecon cape account instead. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the account and I still use it all the time. Now that I think about it, I think it's actually my first time being public about having the account. So uh, yeah, if you see me online on Pep, definitely send a message. I'll always reply to you if I'm not like busy or AFK or something. Anyways, now you know why I was using the account to begin with. Like I said earlier, I would be playing SMPs and previously had very little experience with any version above 1.9. The most experience I had before this was when the version first came out in 2016. So I had no experience with it, but I understood how it worked. So just from digging around, I realized shields get temporarily disabled when you hit them with an axe, as you all now know. So me and my friend Overdose would mess around and attack each other. I'm the goat, obviously, so I'd always win. And one time he was like full iron half diamond or something like that. And I was either like fully naked or had like a piece of one piece of armor or something with an axe, sword, and a shield. And I ended up winning the fight just by playing smarter than him. And I don't know if you guys actually know this, but I was f***ing cracked at pop PvP in 2020. You can go back to my older videos when I used to play with Slime Court and them. I was f***ing insane at the game. Super fast reaction times, playing way smarter than the average player. I always try to be smarter than my opponents because I know if I'm just going with raw skill, there's always going to be someone better. For example, if I were to fight Judah 10 times back in 2020, I'm sure I'd win at least one or two of the fights. And not from raw skill, but from me recognizing how he plays and trying to outsmart him in any way I could to gain a competitive advantage. By the way, this is why Build UHC and Skywars are my favorite kits now. You just have to play smarter instead of aggressive to win. I don't know if you guys remember when block hitting was freaking game breaking for a little bit everyone on lunar took mad advantage of it myself included but back then if you were able to time your right click at the perfect time before you get hit you would take like 50 percent of the damage essentially with no negative drawback i actually did a perfect example of this in my pop pvp tutorial if you want to get good at pop pvp it's actually one of my most popular videos of all time right now the card will be in the top right i'd be wondering what any of this has to do with me and golf a and just trust me it all has a play in this so keep watching so by 2020 i had already been consistently playing pop pvp and suit pvp for like seven or eight years I was, it was getting a little bit stale for me, you know? So to play on an SMP was super refreshing. There was all these blocks and items I didn't even recognize, dude. The 1.7 main at the time, even the slime blocks, which came out in 1.8, by the way. I was like, whoa, what the f*** is this? Dead ask, ask Golfe. He'd be like, bro, that block has been in the game for like five years. And this isn't just specific to slime blocks. It's pretty much anything that came out after version 1.7.10, which came out in 2014, by the way. So this also meant that I didn't know what crystals were, totems, and all that kind of stuff. So after after beating up all my friends on the SMP while they were heavily outgearing me, the owner of the SMP actually decided to make a PvP arena and give us kids to fight in. And being in a group full of all 1.8 rod mains, I was literally smoking these people. Everyone I fight, nobody was winning against me. <laughs> so I decided to Google 1.15 PvP servers. And to my surprise, PvP Legacy was there, averaging about 30 or 40 players during the time. It was, it was around the school year. I was just queuing up the OP kit, uh, just high prod armor with an axe and a sword. Shortly after playing a few games, winning against noobs and getting destroyed by literal veterans i bumped into a few people first guy i bumped into was oj orange juice i'm not sure if you guys will recognize him or not but i sure as hell did he was the first person to absolutely whoop my ass in 1.9 pvp he will make me panic so hard i literally didn't understand crits i remember being like genuinely so frustrated from it <laughs> shortly after getting an absolute drill ran on me by oj i saw golfe in the lobby and mind you i was playing on pep not eddie but if you look at golfe's name and my name you'll uh, you'll notice something pretty Pretty similar. Yeah, so pretty much just both of our names end in EH. It's, it sounds really dumb, but you know me and Golfe. We're both like hella positive vibes. Shout out, Golf. But we instantly bonded over it. And I found out really fast that Golfe was f***ing good at the game, bro. And I mean good. And I was like, no way. This guy has to have a channel for being this good. And man, I wish I had screenshots of his channel when I first saw it, bro. His old videos aren't up anymore, but dude, it was just so funny to me. We have a freaking S-tier pvp -er recording in not so great quality. Barely watchable to my pop PvP. PvP head ass, all of us be recording in like 600 FPS. And his thumbnails were straight up like I funny memes from 2010. <laughs> I remember there was a video of him beating someone insanely known, like fruit berries or like Captain.
fucking sparkles or some sh and it was a fucking picture of a gray cat with sunglasses bro i gotta find that picture it, it, it's too funny i'll put it up on screen now if i can find it so obviously i immediately see like insane potential in this guy i was like oh my god i need to save this boy <laughs> i explained to him that i was a little 1.5k sub youtuber i was down to help him out with like recording settings render settings and just like youtube tips in general he happily accepted my offer and shortly after his channel was growing like wildfire you can ask him about any of this i promise you he'll vouch every second of it, it made me so freaking happy to see someone who i personally found and showed how to do youtube to do so well on the platform and even eventually surpass me get his own insane fan base too don't get me wrong golfe definitely would have figured this out by himself sometime later he's a really smart guy i mean i mean look at him he's balancing a 15k sub youtube channel and college and a management position at his job all at the same time I'm just glad I was the one who found him and I was able to show him everything first because not only did I help create what some of you consider a legend or the goat of MC, but I also gained someone I could easily consider as one of my best friends. I had some trauma going on in my family recently. Like recently, my brother uh, was diagnosed with brain cancer. Uh, they, they, uh, they found a tumor in his brain and it was known to be cancerous, unfortunately. And uh, you'll never guess who my first call was. You know it. Anyways, that's the story of how I met Golfe and where it all began. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a dislike if you disliked the video. Just leave some type of rating, please. So Subscribe, it's totally free. You can always unsubscribe later if you feel the need to. And if nobody told you yet today, you're awesome.